Thank you for joining us. This is a session on uh, top codes. Uh, I am from Avery Denison, uh, Hanita, where we uh, we are uh, developing and doing the top code for the high value segment, mainly on the polyesters and other films. Um, I am uh, the sales director for the segment. I have here in the audience also our R&D uh, leader in case we have uh, technical questions. And uh, I will try to cover on this uh, session um, the materials, the functionalities, the, the uh, technologies that we are using. And basically the idea here is how many functionalities can we add on uh, the face stock um, and by that, bringing uh, more value to, to the product, to yourself and to your uh, customers. We will touch a little bit on the materials that we work with, the different printing technologies, the functionalities that we add uh, to the face stock and label, of course, and uh, some new developments that we are working. Um, I try to uh, put uh, an agenda that will cover different uh, different points of or different technologies or segments that we are dealing with. With we have uh, half an hour, so I'll try to cover it uh, uh, on time, and we will touch a little bit on pharma projects that we have, uh, a little bit security, medical devices. We'll jump into industrial application with focus on durables and uh, some new capabilities. What is important for us to mention here, part of the products are obviously commercial, part of the products are, uh, well, let's say finish the R&D process, but not the uh, commercial uh, yet, and part of the products are in real R&D uh, project, but it's important for us to, for you to know what, what we are doing in Avery uh, moving forward. Um, a bit obvious, but still, uh, to those that uh, don't know a little bit how uh, a label uh, looks uh, when we are coming to touch it from the uh, coating perspective, we obviously start from uh, the release, the liner, adhesive, and then it, the, it, there is the part where we are starting to touch the, the material. So part of our treatments and our coatings is on the bottom side of the face where we can start with uh, improve the adhesive uh, uh, technology or we can uh, create function uh, uh, products like dry uh, tech while we uh, make a label or metalize obviously create a message on the void uh, product we have a range of metallizations, which I will touch uh, as well and then uh, different uh, face materials uh, and uh, obviously the top coat itself, which printability is the obvious that we bring here and the functionality is what, is what we are trying to bring on top of a regular uh, coating. The first thing that we are uh, touching is the pharma uh, segment where we have a luminescent top coat. We present it here in the, in the booth where we basically uh, are trying to uh, help the market with the new uh, regulation and uh, standards that exist in the European market where labels need to be on every package. And uh, part of the labels needs to be clear, small, need to be there to detect that uh, a package is sealed. And uh, the two ways, well, one of the ways to do it, very efficient and not too expensive, is to add luminescent into the coating. And the regular way to do it, or the, or the technology that were used to do it, was either UV varnish while printing, and then uh, we are blocking a printing uh, unit, or to add it into the, coat, the adhesive itself. While we add it into the adhesive, we are limiting ourselves with faces and with the adhesives that we can, uh, we can offer. So what we did, we moved the, the UV luminescence from the adhesive and we put it in the top coat. We have a range of, uh, of colors and uh, we can also monitor the wavelength of the coating and match it to specific uh, even sub-segments within the, the pharma uh, 
products. And again, I invite you to see uh, part of these products here on, on the booth. Temper evident void is something that we all know very much mature market, but, uh, and the but comes in two, uh, two stages. One, we in Avery today, we can touch every part of the product because we do the adhesive, we deal with the face, we do the message. And uh, so what we can uh, change, what we can modify is the message, obviously. So it can be small, big, personalized, uh, the appearance, anything from gloss, uh, matte, uh, metalized, and so on, uh, opaque, adhesion, where we uh, change the adhesive to match the different uh, surfaces and the mechanics. When I say mechanics, I mean, the, the, I mean the inner structure of the label. And I'll give you an example. We know that in the automotive industry, there are new paints that are coming. The new paints have a very low surface energy. We need to use different adhesives. While we use different adhesives, the regular products not necessarily work. So we are starting to modify the adhesive to meet the, the target material. And when we, did, we, have, we do this, we need to change the mechanics within the the label. Having everything under one roof in Avery allows us to match the changes in the market to also to mature uh, markets. Of course, uh, we have different appearances of void. We can add luminescence, have no tack uh, or regular voids, visible, non-visible and uh, products that we all know. Aside to this, uh, we do see a, a growth demand in Watermark, where Watermark is basically a printable top coat that is branded. So we run the same top coat that you need to your regular products, and this time it can be branded in the same run. Very cost efficient, a very cost efficient way to brand a product, very cost efficient to protect the product. So imagine that you have a clear film with UV luminescence only on the uh, text that uh, is on the label and uh, the rest is the same regular printing and uh, you basically can uh, achieve uh, achieve uh, a branded coating in a very good uh, cost moving a little bit from uh, the pharma and the traditional we we'll, i want to touch on the medical devices medical devices is uh, and and when i say medical devices we obviously have the device itself but i want to focus here on the label that goes onto the blood test uh, strip when we go to the doctor to the hospital and we have a blood test that is uh, uh, more uh, extreme, so not uh, some, something sta standard, even uh, pathological tests, we will have uh, our uh, data or the patient's data or part of the test protocol on a label, the blood test, and then it goes into the device and the, the test protocol contains very aggressive solvents. These aggressive solvents cannot, uh, a, a regular label, a regular durable thermal transfer label will not hold. So you have a, we have a specific coatings that hold these uh, very aggressive solvents. Uh, it's, it's, it's considered a niche market, but it's a relatively big market. And uh, think about the amount of uh, test units that exist in hospitals and in uh, extreme laboratories. Moving into industrial labels, uh, a little bit to automotive and durable. I like this, uh, I like this uh, picture because it just shows us in one car how many uh, durable uh, labels we can have in places that we don't even uh, uh, know. Um, and I want to give a few examples of trends that we see in the market. The first one is uh, flame retardant. So we basically offer a polyester coated uh, label where the coating creates the label to become VTM0 or UL94, halogen free and printable. We have product range of uh, white, black, gray, clear uh, products. And uh, there are a few interesting markets where this, uh, these uh, products uh, are going into. Uh, 
automotive is one cable marking in the automotive industry. Electric vehicle is, uh, is a growing market where uh, flame retardant is needed. Consumer electronics, very interesting. There is a, a part of the market in consumer electronics where people are using flame retardant labels, but they're using uh, polyimid. They don't need the heat resistance of the polyimid, <clears throat> but it's easy to get uh, the flame retardancy. So what uh, we basically enable, what we can offer today is a replacement from polyimid where we don't need the high temperature resistance, but we do need the VTM0 or the UL94. Uh, this is a available product uh, and uh, you can uh, get it with our durable team. Another label that I wanted to present here is the vulcanization label. You know, in the tire industry, every tire that we see in the market, whether it's for scooter or for a car, <coughs> starts as a rubber. It gets, uh, in the rubber, it gets an identification, and this identification code has to stay with the label throughout its entire, entire life. It's a regulation worldwide. Uh, that is forced by the insurance companies. We have a vulcanization label. It's a small label that goes on the tire, stands the vulcanization process. The print has to obviously stay throughout the, the entire process. Um, we have this product at uh, 100 micron or 4 mil or 125 micron, 5 mil, and we are about to offer the market uh, 3 mil as well. The third uh, application that I wanted uh, to share with you uh, under this uh, segment is the laser etch. <coughs> laser etch, to those that are not familiar, you take a label, you have a few layers of coating, and the printing basically is done by laser that will etch away part of the coating, and we will have a negative print. Laser etch, it's the most uh, durable label that exists in the industry. Um, we have a uh, few products in the market. Part of them are based on polyester and uh, available on our product range. Part of them we are modifying to meet new changes in the market. Um, Non-destructible labels, semi-destructible, or uh, we are going to uh, launch as well a um, full destructible uh, label. To those of you that are uh, in the durable market, in the electronic market, that works with OEM, it's definitely a very interesting, uh, very interesting product range. I want to touch a little bit about uh, new developments or products that we are bringing into this market that are not uh, coming from the print segment. Uh, I had to, we had to choose uh, case studies and now we are uh, with a time limit. The first uh, example that I want to bring you uh, is a barrier coating. We offer today uh, a barrier coating for oxygen and moisture. Um, and it's not a standard barrier, but we're going for extreme uh, barrier levels. So if we talk about oxygen, we can have with a clear label today, a barrier of, for oxygen of 0 0.4 grams per square meter per day. I don't know any other company that can offer uh, such a barrier level today. Um, we started it for the reclosure uh, industry. We brought it from a different, uh, from different applications, but we can see it also in some uh, blood test protocols where you put the blood test into a tube and you have to uh, keep a full uh, oxygen barrier for uh, a while. We saw it on uh, HDD ceiling labels, hard disk drives, where you have a uh, there is a use of uh, aluminum foil. We take the aluminum foil, we use metallized construction. So this uh, product uh, construction can go in clear or metallized. Um, and I can, uh, I can say uh, with a quite uh, high confidence and a lot of proud that uh, Avery today have uh, barrier uh, products that are uh, unique and uh, very advanced. 
Indicative coating, uh, we all know the water indicative. It's a label that uh, we all have on our phone and exists. It's obviously something that we have in our capability as well. I think what is important to know that with the, in Avery today, we can uh, offer other indicative uh, products as chemicals, gas, heat, whenever we can measure and identify what we need to, uh, to check. When we have this, we have the capability to develop, and it's a it's a product that goes uh, by application. So these are not off-the-shelf products because obviously, when we want to have a chemical uh, identification or gas, every application is a, is a modification and sometimes a complete new product uh, line. Um, we do a lot of uh, transfer coating as well. Uh, when we do transfer coating, we are using the face material basically as a carrier. We apply a special release coating, and then uh, we can uh, print on it, put the adhesive, and basically apply uh, the adhesive. Uh, they apply the label, sorry, um, and. This is the, the product construction. We have uh, printable uh, labels that can be transferred, and we have metallized labels that can be transferred. So when we do metallize, it's mainly for uh, heat reflection. So imagine uh, a, a component in a car where you have to protect electronic, and uh, you cannot use aluminum. It's too uh, rigid, too thick, too uh, 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 brittle we can uh, do uh, we can do metallization uh, transfer metallization or obviously uh, the transfer labels uh, one of the products that we are looking into uh, into development is to take this technology into the for example visor uh, that we have in our car when you need to print the visors um, in Avery today, we, uh, we have a line of metallizers. We metallize uh, aluminum, but we also metallize copper. And we metallize copper both on polyesters, but we also metallize copper on uh, aluminum foil. Um, metallizing copper is a relatively unique uh, capability, and doing it on aluminum foil is unique for Avery Denison. And uh, this technology goes to two key markets. One is uh, electrical conductivity, and then we will choose if we want to metallize uh, aluminum foil or if we want to metallize polyester. A very interesting application is the heat dissipation. We know uh, the products uh, that we're using today uh, are uh, projecting a lot of heat, whether it's screens, whether it's uh, uh, laptops, phones, television. This is a very uh, good uh, technology for heat dissipation. One of the downsides of uh, copper is uh, in the, of products in the market is that we use adhesive in order to uh, create a product. We don't use adhesive and the adhesive is the weak point. When we use laminate of copper in the market, uh, the adhesive is the weak point and uh, we avoid it. And it's obviously a much cheaper solution than using a real copper. A fast recap before we go into questions, in, if you have one. We look at what we can offer today in Avery. We, we touch the materials. We can uh, treat uh, polyester, which is one of our key materials, BOPP, polyethylene, polyurethane, synthetic papers. We go from 10 micron all the way to 175. Obviously, different appearances, clear, white, matte, glossy, metallized. Then we look at the printability, which we say it's given. We, we offer a range of digital uh, printing uh, substrates. We have conventional, which covers most of the printing technologies that you know today in the market. And the laser edge, which we talked uh, on one of the slides. Then we want to add functionalities. Again, the more functionalities we put on the label, the more value we have in the label. We can uh, have the flame retardant, we can have chemical resistant, heat resistant, antibacterial, security, identification. Outdoor can uh, offer uh, a very high uh, outdoor condition over laminate. Very high uh, or very nice product range for hard coat scratch resistant products. 
indoor and outdoor. And again, what we want to do, we want to combine as many features as possible on one label. So to have a flame retardant printable halogen free label. And then we want to add uh, more uh, functionalities from our new developments, whether it's barrier coating, identification coating, transfer or copper.